Yo, what's up? Yeah, Dan, I'm gonna work on your, your track. I'll try to be more consistent. It's just sometimes I just don't have time at all. And when I need to work, I'm just like completely uh, exhausted by the prospect of having to do something on stream. If I really need to like just explore stuff, I think you just have to send it sometimes. Yeah, dude, I don't have very much. Booked and busy is good. It is. It's like a good problem to have. I do want to be more consistent. It's been, I think, a month and a quarter, a month and a week since I last streamed. I think it's my like longest hiatus. So we'll try to figure out something here. Yeah, we're literally just gonna do a little drum drum track first and then we'll start to like kind of screw around with it. Right now it's super on grid. I wanted to make it a little bit more swung. So definitely I want these toms to be kind of like lazy and lazy. Is that a polybrute? It is, yeah, I really like it. Yeah, okay, that feels great actually. Have I done my first live set? I haven't done my first live set, I've done a DJ set. What is the process of layering stuff that you do? Well, you, maybe we can figure it out today. I've been trying to mess a little bit more with um, a lot of post-processing sound design. Um, so we're gonna figure out what we can do. So. that right uh, but the it's just like there's a delay on the contact one that makes it get it taken. What is that chord? That's the take. And then we'll just screw around with this audio a little bit more. something new I just released. Do I collab with Robotaki? Yes, I have. My tracks look good, like this black, white, Scheme is so, so sick. I feel like your music is beautifully layered. I've learned the importance of EQing to make room for frequencies. Besides EQing, what do you recommend to keep a track clean and sophisticated at the, other, at the same time? Ironically, this is not, I've been kind of leaning the other way. I still EQ. Well, I mean, I was just showing you like, I was EQing like kind of super aggressive. Maybe a better example is like, I'm just like egregiously EQing things so that they're tucked in. turns into like this really warm like blob which is something that I've been really enjoying recently. Honestly, cleanliness though, it's really just a matter of the fewer, like having confidence in your uh, instrument selection and having fewer instruments in general. Um, Cause there's a reason why acoustic cover songs work, you know, like you listen to the classic, you know, soft spoken girl with a ukulele and she sounds good. That's cause there's literally only two instruments and they're very cohesive, right? 
But if you want to get more dense, like post-processing has sort of been a huge thing that I've been exploring. RC20 or Isotope Vinyl? I've never tried RC, uh, sorry, Isotope Vinyl. So I can only vouch for RC20 though. To be honest, I've been using cassette more than RC20. <laughs> Kind of like that, like dipping in and out right there. When my wife gets married to her boyfriend, I hope they play this song at the wedding. Wow, Roger's bass, I'm sorry to hear that. This is one of those things where like I've like I have enough experience to know I'm in a territory where where either this is gonna sound great when I reopen the project or I'm gonna reopen this and I'm just gonna be like I, I don't this sounds like terrible. Oh yeah, ignore that piano, hold on. There's something, there's something here, right? I mean that works, right? Just going like this. Doing real good now that I've heard this, oh, I appreciate it. Much love from Australia, Sally gotta leave. Oh, it's okay, go do your class. This will be recorded. Yeah, something like that, right? I like that like pop. It's almost like kind of French, French housey in the way it's cut. 